All right, so earlier this morning, we got a new producer's letter on the global side of the game. And usually the operations team uses these to give us some um, information about upcoming events and uh, units that we can expect to see on global later in the week or in the month, right? But this one was actually a little bit different. We didn't learn about any specific units or specific events, but in my opinion, this was probably the most interesting producer's letter we've ever received because they revealed the uh, results of a recent survey that was conducted on Global, um, I think a few months back. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it and check it out together. So from the top, it says, Hi everyone, this is the operation team of the international version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Thank you for playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this producer's letter, we're going to announce the results of the survey recently held for the international version. On top of that, there are some other surprises, so make sure to read through the end. So we're starting with the first question, which was, what are your thoughts about high difficulty events? So hard events, I'm assuming like Super Battle Road, um, the legendary Goku event, and things like that, right? And the options were, A, I would like more of these types of events, B, I would like them to be easier to play, C, I am enjoying them, no need for changes, and D, they are too difficult, so I am not playing them. And as you can see, the majority of the answers, 57% of the responses were A, I would like more of these types of events, which is not a surprise because I'm assuming that a good amount of the global player base at this point, since it is a fairly old game now, are somewhat experienced or have had a good amount of time in this game. So a lot of the you know older events are becoming really easy, right? So yeah, 57% want more events that are difficult. 20% uh, say that uh, they're enjoying them, no need for changes. And then 15% say I would like them to be easier. And then 8% say they are too difficult and I am not playing them. And we have some comments from the operations team which uh, says, more than half of you replied, I would like more of these types of events. As announced earlier under one of the key points of update project version Z, adding and improving challenge features, we are developing new content for Dokkan veterans. It'll take some more time before it's ready to be implemented, so stay tuned for further announcements. On the other hand, some of you said they're too difficult or make them a bit easier together with the new content, we are also preparing improvements and adjustments to existing content that will make these events easier to play. These will also be announced as soon as new information becomes available. So essentially, they are trying their best to make the game more accessible and more fun for players of all experience levels, which is definitely a good thing, right? So that was the first question. Moving on to question number two. Your expectations for the friend function and the uh, options were A, I would like to play against friends, which would be like a PvP kind of system. Uh, B, I would like to team up with friends, so co-op. C, I would like to interact with friends, so I guess a mix of the two or somewhere in between. And then D, I am satisfied with the current function, no need for changes, so that would be just no co-op or PvP or anything like that at all. So as you can see, the majority of the answers were B, which is I would like to team up with friends. That's 43%, almost half. And then we have 22%. I would like to play against friends. C is 25%. Uh, I would like to interact with friends. And D at 10%. I am satisfied with the current function. No need for changes. So obviously the majority of the player base, 90% of the responses um, want there to be some kind of ability to play the game with other players, right? Whether it be PvP or uh, co-op or something like that uh, outside of the world tournament, which is kind of like a fake co-op PvP kind of thing and also just really, really sucks. So let's see what the operations team has to say about it. Uh, Dokkan Battle is a single player game that can be enjoyed at one's preferred pace. However, by looking at your replies to the survey, we are aware that many of you 
are also playing while sharing information with friends and other players. Therefore, we're considering implementing features that will allow you to cooperate with friends and invite friends to complete missions together. This will make cooperating with friends possible while also keeping the play at your own pace aspect intact. Stay tuned. So notice that they didn't comment at all about a potential PVP function, right? They talked about some co-op, they talked about like the ability to work with friends to complete missions together, but no fighting against other people or fighting against their friends, which honestly to me is a good thing because I personally would not like to see PvP in Dokkan. I don't think it would work with the way that the game's played. Um, obviously, if they want to try it, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to it, but I'm much more in favor of a co-op or a PvE kind of thing like raid bosses or something like that where you can fight enemies with other people in real time. I think that would be awesome. So um, this is exciting, guys. I mean, they said they're considering implementing the feature that allows us to cooperate with other people. It's not a guarantee, so don't get too excited, but um, the potential is definitely there. So I really hope that they, you know, follow through with it and we do see some kind of co-op um, at some point in the near future, maybe sometime this year or early next year, right? Um, so that was question number two and probably the most interesting one from this entire survey. But moving on to question number three, which was reasons why you want to include a character on your team. And the options were A, I would like to see the character's animation so I can build a team focused around that character and join various events regardless of the difficulty level. So basically animation focused. B, I would like to check the character's performance so I build a team that includes that character and play the difficult content, okay? And then C is the character works well with other characters on the team and the other free answer. So um, it looks like the majority of players were uh, focused on performance uh, with 43% saying they wanna check the character's performance, 31% were focused on the animations, and then we have 21%, which was kind of surprising to me, um, saying, they build teams based on characters that work well with each other, so it doesn't seem to be a priority for most people. And a D is other, so they could just like write whatever answer they wanted. Um, and the comments are, this question's purpose was to check how you play with the new characters you recruit. Those of you who include them on your team to play difficult content are the slight majority, but many also enjoy matching them with other characters or watching their animations. We will take your suggestions into consideration for future characters. Okay, so this was, I'm not gonna say like a pointless question, but it doesn't seem to be that important as far as the results go. You know, like what is actionable here? Like what are they gonna do with the responses to change the way they release characters? I don't really know because the power creep is already very real. New characters coming out for the most part with the exception of a few are getting more and more powerful uh, i'm assuming that they're trying to make all the animations look as good as possible so um i kind of feel like nothing's really gonna change based on the responses to this question you know they're probably just gonna keep continue doing what they've been doing so far which is release more and more broken characters with better and better looking animations, right? I mean, maybe I'm misinterpreting this question. Maybe you guys can give me a different perspective in the comments, but the way I'm seeing it, um, this question's not really gonna make that much of a difference, right? But anyways, uh, still interesting to see the results nonetheless. And uh, let's move on to the next question, which is your expectations for the international version in the future. Okay, so this was also very, very interesting. Um, the options were A, implementing characters at the same time as the international version, B, implementing characters prior to the Japanese version, so global first, uh, C, adding content exclusive to the international version, and then D was a free answer. So um, I'm not surprised by the fact that 66% of people said they want to see characters implemented at the same time as the Japanese version. What was 
more interesting to me was the fact that only 8% of people apparently said they want to see characters uh, released prior to the Japanese version on global. So basically, global first units, right? Only 8% of people wanted that. I would have expected a good like 20 to 30% of people to um, say they want global first units, but I guess uh, it is what it is. And then C was. 22% adding content exclusive to the international version. So, um, wait, exclusive. Oh, not before Japan. So they want content that Japan will just straight up not get, like ever, right? If I'm understanding that correctly. So I guess it kind of makes sense then. Global players want to have content that is only for global. <laughs> Okay, it kind of makes sense now. I guess when people saw exclusive, they got excited. I mean, exclusive is always a very um, controversial word when it comes to gacha games with two versions like this. So that's probably why more people chose that over characters before the Japanese version. That's what I'm thinking. Anyways, let's see the Operation Team's comments. The majority of you are expecting to have characters implemented at the same time as the Japanese version. We are considering increasing the number of events held at the same time as the Japanese version. In fact, this year, we already have plans for campaigns that will be held simultaneously. Make sure you don't miss any further updates. Okay, so what they're saying is uh, we see that most of you want to have more things at the same time as Japan, but we're not going to like fully line up, you know, the two versions. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Like I said before, um, I think it's always going to be Japan slightly ahead on, you know, new unit releases for the most part, except for a few, you know, major celebrations like the uh, download celebration or the worldwide celebration and stuff like that. Um, for the most part, Japan's always going to be a little bit ahead, but we're going to be, you know, doing more things that are simultaneous releases. So maybe another celebration every year that has a new unit that comes out on both sides at the same time, like Saiyan Day or the Worldwide Celebration or, um, I don't know, the New Year Step Up banner and stuff like that. Uh, oh, and also the uh, Heroes collab as well, right? So... Um, nothing really new here either because, as they say, they are planning to hold campaigns that will be held simultaneously this year, but we know that we have the Worldwide Celebration coming up, which is something that happens every single year. We have the New Year's Step Up Banner, we have the Heroes Collab, um, we already had Saiyan Day with the Majin Vegeta, which was a simultaneous release, so unless they're talking about something else new that we didn't have as a simultaneous release from previous years um it's kind of the same thing right so <laughs> i'm hoping there's going to be something new not just the same stuff that we had before but there is a chance that uh nothing really changes you know so we'll see about that one and uh we have one final question here which is your expectations for the producer's letters uh, a, new information about characters and events was 58%. B, communication with the operations team via surveys, etc. 29%. C was other, which was the free answer. That was only 2%. And D was I have no specific expectations, which is 11%. And their comment was, as the operations team, we are striving to improve the game while listening to your opinions. And we hope you will enjoy our upcoming letters. So the thing that's kind of funny to me is that 58% said we want information about characters and events. And the letter that comes out right after the survey gives no information about new characters <laughs> and events. But like I said, it's fine because this was a very interesting um, producer's letter. I loved getting the results back from our uh, you know, survey a few weeks ago. And I hope that they you know, continue to release these uh, going forward. And this is actually part one of this month's producer's letter. So maybe part two will provide some information about new characters and events. We'll see. But uh, that does it for 
uh, today's video. I think there is a little message at the end here, which I will quickly read you guys. We have read every single comment we received and we're referring to them when planning updates and events. One last thing. The information on the next campaign will be released on April 24th, Pacific Standard Time. Who will the new character be? Try to guess in the comments. And that is pretty much it, guys. That does it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the results um, of this survey. Uh, to me, I think the most interesting part is this right here, which is the potential for co-op in the future. It's not something that I expect anytime soon, but um, hopefully, like I said, late this year or early next year, we see a co-op function in Dokkan. And from a content creation perspective, it also opens the door to a lot of fun collabs in the future, right? So um, yeah, that is very exciting to me personally. And uh, that's all I gotta say about this letter, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.